This is a technique that works a lot. And if you are giving 10 practice sessions to this particular technique in a month, it's going to be absolutely effective to improve your speaking fluency and your confidence. Hello everybody, how are you all? Hope you're doing great. So welcome back to another session of learning English with me and improving your speaking skills. Yes, today's video, today's lesson is going to focus completely on your speaking skills, completely on the fluency that you're looking for, plus the confidence. A lot of people face this particular problem of not being confident enough. Their English might be good, but whenever they're faced with a situation when they have to speak English, they're not able to muster up the courage to speak in front of anybody and to speak English continuously. So the confidence and fluency both are important. And today's lesson, today's technique is going to be an intense one that is going to help you develop your fluency and confidence both. So are you ready for this? I'm Shivangi Gupta, your CELTA certified English language tutor, certified by the University of Cambridge, the UK. And before beginning, please subscribe the channel so that you do not forget to check out any lesson that I post just for you on the channel. Please like the video and share it with your friends too. Now coming back to today's lesson, what is this awesome technique that I have for you today, which is going to directly hit your confidence and your fluency. This is going to boost up your confidence in an amazing way. Your confidence level will increase so much. And this is one of the most effective techniques, believe me. Something that is taken up by professionals too. A lot of professionals, they take up this technique, which is called mirror and observe. Mirror and observe. Well, mirror talk. You must think that mirror and observe means mirror talk. Definitely, it means mirror talk, but the approach is completely different. There are several ways in which you can approach a technique. And this approach matters a lot. How you are taking up that particular technique matters a lot. Because a lot of people, they might speak good English, but how they present themselves, how they speak it, that matters a lot. You might find somebody to be so inspiring, somebody to be so admirable and there might be these favorite speakers of yours. Why? Because there is something in the way they speak, their body language, the way they interact that has hooked you, hooked you and that is why you like them so much as a speaker. That is what we have to develop too and today's video is going to be, you can consider a lesson number two in the mirror talk series. We have already done an intense lesson on mirror talk. And today, the approach is going to be completely different. This is mirror and observe, a four stage process. So let's begin with the process. Let's begin what you have to do, how you're supposed to take this particular technique up. Let's get started. So stage number one, stage number one is mirror talk, mirror talk what you have to do in the mirror talk. Now, if you have watched my previous video on mirror talk, you must be familiar with a lot of stages, steps in that particular technique. In this particular technique, stage number one, the mirror talk is going to be absolutely simple. There are some things, some rules that you need to follow that is no write-up, nothing. You do not have to bring a write-up with you when you're standing in front of a mirror. You cannot read and speak. You cannot write your material and read it and then speak it. No. This is mirror and observe. Your complete focus should be on yourself. You are the main character, the protagonist of this particular technique that we are taking up. That's why the sole focus must be on you, yourself. You need to focus on yourself. Now, in order to do that, what you have to do is definitely you have to find a mirror in your house. Find a mirror, not hang a mirror somewhere and then stand in front of it. Standing is important. I would never suggest sit for this particular technique. Stand so that you can observe yourself more closely. Stand in front of the mirror and start speaking on a topic. Select a topic pre-hand, beforehand. Beforehand, you need to select a topic and be prepared with it. 
no write up no reading and speaking nothing you have to speak on the spot why looking at yourself in the mirror this is going to be a stage where you are just preparing yourself for this particular technique to improve yourself so what you have to do is you have to just speak relaxed manner in a relaxed manner completely relaxed manner do not evaluate do not judge yourself do not fear about some mistakes nothing whatever is coming in your mind related to the topic whatever you want to speak speak it out loud clear but keep looking at yourself in the mirror because this is going to boost your confidence you might hesitate but there is no need to hesitate it's just you you are your own judge you are judging yourself so no need to fear no need to get scared no need to hesitate stand and speak out loud clear whatever you want to and speak for at least 2 to 3 minutes that is what i would suggest not less than 2 minutes at least 2 to 3 minutes you can take it up to 4 minutes 5 minutes as much as you want there is no limit to speaking if you want to speak so much you can there is no limit to speaking more but there is a time limit that you cannot fall back on you cannot speak for less than 2 minutes not less than 2 minutes more than 2 minutes however much you want so stage number 1 is going to be just speak in front of the mirror stand in front of the mirror and speak everything out loud related to your topic that's it now stage number 2 is observe one observation number one so stage two is going to be the observation number one now what are you going to observe in this particular stage i would never suggest you to observe your speaking skills observe and judge on your speaking skills no this stage is going to be the observation stage related to your body language when you first correct your body language it helps you improve your english why because you have developed a bit of confidence already so when you observe your speaking skills and evaluate them you are less judgmental you are less hesitant you take it in a more positive way because at least you have covered one thing which is easier to overcome maintaining your body language is much easier than the speaking why because a lot of times people tend to make mistakes while speaking english and correcting all the mistakes each and every mistake on the spot is not possible so obviously you can overcome 50% 60% of the mistakes but correcting everything will not be possible so have a very clear mindset that whatever you are doing is to improve not to correct in some sort of magical way it's not magic it will take time to improve but this is a very powerful tool to improve yourself so first of all observe stage 1 is observing your body language maintaining eye contact is the prime focus of this observation stage because when you speak to somebody major problem that i've seen people face is that they are not able to hold that eye contact because they are too nervous to speak in english they fear judgment there are lots and lots of issues that we all know that goes around while speaking english and even if they are giving a presentation in front of maybe 10 people 100 people 1000 people or maybe they are talking to just one person holding that eye contact is problematic so this is a very good technique to practice your eye contact hold eye contact with yourself because holding eye contact with yourself is the easiest way to improve your eye contact skills because maintaining eye contact is important if you want to appear confident eye contact is must if you want to appear as an influential speaker eye contact is must so this is the time for you to practice eye contact maintain eye contact with yourself whenever you are speaking in front of the mirror in this stage now the second thing that you need to observe is your hand gestures your hand movements your gestures your body language your posture posture is very important a lot of times people don't only slouch while sitting slouch is like when your shoulders are not straight they are hunched somehow so this kind of body language appears to be of less confident person so don't slouch your shoulders no do not do that stand straight shoulders straight back straight look straight in the mirror 
good hand movements, good eye contact, and speak. Speak once again. In observe stage one, you are speaking because then what are you going to observe? So you are speaking for the second time in stage two. That is observation one. Speaking for the second time. And during this speaking task, your complete focus is on your body language and improving your body language completely. Stage number three. Stage number three is going to be observation two. Observation two. Now, what are you going to observe? This is the time you're going to observe your speaking skills. How are you speaking? In what manner are you speaking? Are you able to form complete sentences? Are you taking lots of pauses? Are you making lots of mistakes? Are you doing something good? Are you seeing some kind of improvement while speaking English? Are there good use of words? Are you able to use the new vocabulary? So you have seen, I have asked lots of retrospective questions. Retrospective questions means questions to evaluate yourself that I've suggested. And in those questions, there were positive and negative questions both. So when you're observing your speaking skills, please keep in mind that you're not just pointing out your mistakes and negativity. No, obviously we need to point out our weakness because we want to improve. And in order to improve, we have to point out our weakness, right? But we have to also appreciate our strengths and improvements. So when you're speaking, observe the areas of improvement, where you need improvement, and also observe the areas of achievement where you have already improved something that you can see that, oh, now my sentence structures are better than before. Even if they're not perfect, they might be better. You might have used a word in a very amazing way that you've learned recently. You might have used a phrase. You are using an idiom, maybe. You are able to speak continuously for longer time than before as compared to before. You're now speaking for longer time in English. So that is what you have to observe. Observe both positive and negative both points. Areas of improvement and areas of achievement both. Stage number four. Last stage for this particular technique. Stage number four is to record. Record. What you have to record. Now you've spoken three times. Three times in stage number one, stage number two and stage number three. What you have to do is you have to record whatever you observed in stage number two and three. That is observation one and observation two. So you have to record everything related to your body language and you have to record everything related to your speaking, whatever you have observed. Because how are you going to remember it if you're not going to record it? You have to record it somewhere, right? And in order to record it, what you can do is you can simply pick up a notebook a journal, a diary, and you can record your observations in that particular notebook, in that particular journal, in that particular diary. Record it so that you can compare it after a few practice sessions. You need to give at least 10 to 15 practice sessions to this particular technique. Take up at least 10 to 15 practice sessions. You can do this continuously every day. You can do this twice in a week thrice in a week, maybe five times in a month, whatever is your comfortable pace, take up the technique according to that. But at least give 10 to 15 sessions. And after that, compare, evaluate what kind of improvement you can see. And I'm sure that you will be able to see huge improvement. This is a technique that works a lot. And if you are giving 10 practice sessions to this particular technique in a month, it's going to be absolutely effective for you. Believe me. So this is the technique for you. Mirror and observe. Mirror and observe. To improve your speaking fluency and your confidence. Your confidence level while speaking English. is going to be sky high. Believe me, sky high. That is absolutely amazing level of confidence. So take this technique up and see the difference for yourself. One thing that I really love about this technique is that you do not need a lot of preparation time. The focus is on the observation. Because the name is mirror and observe, the focus is on the observation. You do not have to prepare a lot of things as compared to mirror talk. In mirror talk, you have to do lots of preparation because that's a very professional kind of technique that I've suggested. And in order to know more about mirror talk, you can go back 
check this lesson out of mine that I have given you already. So check this lesson out for detailed exercise of mirror talk. Today's is mirror and observe and mirror and observe works wonderfully for your confidence and something that you can take up any time. So that is it. That was the lesson. That was the technique and I hope that you're going to like it and you're going to take it up. Do let me know in the comment section below how this technique has helped you and are you taking this up or not. That's it for today. Now I'm going to meet you again next time in a new lesson. Till then everybody take care and bye.